For those who don't know me, my name is Lena Barr. I spoke here last Saturday to share my story. I blacked out August 21st, 2020 from wearing a mask. There were a few things I missed out, and I have some good news from this week that I wanted to share with all of you. I was told recently that Walmart should have had an incident report for what happened. So I called them. I was told that they do incident reports for anything that happens in their stores and they said they would call me back. They did return my call. For my incident though, somehow they say they didn't do an incident report. Coincidence? I think not. I want to thank so many people, including Mark Schultz and Wayne Caspi, who have helped me get this far. My friend Steve put me in touch with Sylvain Henry, who then got me in touch with my now doctor, Stephen Malthouse in BC. My very good friend, Epiphany, called David and Karen Dixon and said I needed help. All this took time. I have been alone with no professional help for over four months now, only continuing to decline with my brain injury. I post updates on my YouTube channel to spread awareness. In these four months, I have also started developing other symptoms. I've been rushed to ER three times, only to be sent home once I was stabilized. Our friend, our great friend Colin is staying with us because I can't be alone. My very good friend is remarkable and helping me and my family. My best news is that Dr. Stephen Malthouse picked up my case. He managed to get a consult for me at the Complex Concussion Clinic at the U of A for February 17th. And I'm on a waiting list if a spot opens up earlier than that. I have been talking on the phone with a wonderful lady named Connie at, the concussion, at this concussion clinic about my referral there. <laughs> the good news is they accepted me, <laughs> but what I find, what I found funny is you need to be approved for this clinic. <laughs> Connie said I'm overqualified. <laughs> for the program. <laughs> this is how bad my brain injury is. <laughs> she said the two neurologists she spoke with in the clinic would still help me though. Thank God. <laughs> I wanted to tell you a little bit about my family. My oldest has special needs and can go to school. He's in grade seven. Yep, it's messed, I know. If your child is going to school at any grade and they tell you they need to be tested, this is not true. I got a call yesterday and a child in his class tested positive. Yeah, positive for the flu, by the way. <laughs> God. The child was in class November 27th Meanwhile, my son and others have been going to school. <laughs> my husband went to the school and said our son will not be tested and be a part of this propaganda. Right? Not... Sorry. This is after they told my husband twice that our son had to get tested. Not happening. 
ever. Then they said, well, he's showing no symptoms for eight days and will have to self-isolate until December 12th and can go back on the 14th. People, you need to stand your ground because your children do not have to be tested. Then I get an email stating my son does not have to get tested. However, he must isolate for 14 days. But here is the kicker. Even if our children get tested and it comes back negative, they still have to isolate for 14 days. Yeah, that makes complete sense. So, why are they pushing us to get tested? Because if they have nothing, if they have anything at all, yes, they've got COVID, <laughs> for, which is the flu. And then they put that in their cases. Well, why can't people understand that? If you aren't awake now, you're on your own. No one can save you, not even me. <laughs> Please don't get tested. Don't get your children tested. Don't wear a mask for the love of God. Be healthy, happy, and enjoy your family, friends, especially at Christmas. Right? Oh, a Merry Christmas. This is the best thing of all for me, though. All of this brought me to all of you. I speak out for all who can't speak. I never know the future. None of us do. Everything happens for a reason. I'm here today, like last week, for a reason. Do not be scared to speak out. I will do everything to be by your side. Do not ever adhere. Do not get angry because that's letting them win. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay? We give love. Yeah. Right. And those, you know, haters, as I call them or whatever, what I say to them is, Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you have your Christmas. And for those listening, Either get it together because it's common sense. And if I have a brain injury and know what the F is going on, what's your excuse? Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. And I love you all. By the way, celebrate everything. Birthdays. Just celebrate life every day. Not just Christmas. Celebrate everything. Hug people. Love people. Always. Okay? I love you all so much. Thank you.